Hey everybody, it's Patrick from the Wellness Enterprise here with Laura, and uh, I've got some new understandings about hydration I just got to share with you right now. So I met Laura about seven weeks ago, and um, on our third date, she was like, yeah, I don't think this is going to work out for me. And I was like, what? I was like, that's not going to work for me, that it's not going to work out for you. So um, I was like, well, how about you be my health coach? You know, I just like had to find a way to keep her in my life. So... I um, I just so respected what she knows and, you know, to, to meet her and like touch her hand and like feel her skin. It's like this woman is like completely alive and, you know, what she has, I want. And so she agreed to coach me, thankfully. And uh, that, that kept her in my life a little more, more easily. But what I started doing is I started eating fruit as my predominant food so that I could actually get nutrition. So take a second, Laura, and just tell people about like... The science behind eating real food like why do we eat fruit so much so we are naturally frugivores as evidenced by the shape of our teeth and the length of our intestinal tract and fruit is immediately available as an energy source for the body the body doesn't require any effort to break down fructose it's just immediately absorbable by the body Whereas glucose or glycogen, the two other primary sources of energy for the body, require tremendous amounts of water to be, to be broken down from the foods that we eat in a process called dehydration synthesis. So if you're going to eat foods that aren't fruit, then we need tons and tons of water in order to consume and to, die, to uh, attract nutrients from that uh, food. The um, problem is most of us are walking around not drinking a lot of water and eating a lot of cooked food and just assuming that the problems that we're feeling like headaches or nausea or constipation are part of growing old, for example. Right on. And I've had plenty of that, like plenty of joint pain, plenty of feeling old and all that stuff. And, you know, I was eating a primarily meat diet for the last year and a half, and it was a really healing diet for me. It, it really helped me out a ton. But when I you know, started to get to know Laura, I just, I just wanted to change my vibration. Like I just changed instantly being in her aura is basically what happened. And so it was, it was no effort. I just started to eat fruit all the time and complimented by raw nuts, right? I dropped the salt. And so, so the frugivore yeah. diet actually is primarily ripe, sweet fruit, some tender green leaves, and some raw nuts. And those are the natural things that our species can consume with very little effort. The longer you eat this way, the fewer nuts you crave. But initially, they're a wonderful substitute for the more nutrient-dense foods that we're accustomed to eating. That's the truth. And it's a subject of another video on another day, how I would go through an entire bag of cashews. Like, <laughs> like er, six weeks ago. Um, but um, the reason I'm making the video today is, so I've been eating this way for about six weeks now, and things, by the way, did work out between us. So um, we're pretty happy. These are our adorable dogs in the back seat, and um, <laughs> they're dating too. Um, Dharma over here, she's two, and Blue over here, he's five. And they're, they're very sweet. Even though they're sitting apart right now, we're, we're at, at the woods. We're about to go swimming in a waterfall, and um, they're super excited to get out of the car. But the reason I had to make the video is I'm, I'm on the cusp of a headache for the second time today, and I actually had a dizzy moment after I took a nap today, and I stood up and I actually gently sat to the floor and just needed a little recovery time. And, and so we've been talking about it. And like what happened is yesterday when we went to the farmer's market, there was um, just beautiful zucchini and potatoes there. And one of the cooked foods from my past is zu zucchini potato pancakes. And so we made them last night and they were phenomenal. Like we ate all the batter. And then this morning I'm lying in bed going, man, I want that again. And she goes, hey, I think I could eat those zucchini potato <laughs> pancakes again today. And I was like, you've just spoken the unspeakable. Yes, I'm in. <laughs> and so we made another huge batch. And so we had cooked food two days in a row and we don't, Maybe once every week or two we have cooked food. But once a week, yeah. Once we a week. Yeah. Food. So we had it back-to-back -back days. And what I get is that I've been getting such amazing hydration from the fruit that it's actually take complemented my structure water hydration, which I do phenomenally well, you know, better than, than almost everybody because I just tend to it all the time. And between the two, getting nature's hydration with the minerals plus my structured water, I've just been, I've been crushing it. Like my health has been fantastic. I've been playing tons of racket sports, feeling vital. It's just... It's, seven out of eight days he plays racket sports. After seven weeks off. 
without without any kind of soreness that that knocked me out. So it just it's been it's been amazing. And so to drop to my knees today, I mean I actually dropped all the way to sitting down. It was like, "Wait, what's going on?" And now I'm like this lightness of headache on the way over here to the waterfall and it's like, "What's going on?" So we started talking about it. So let's tell them a little bit about the science there. Um, you know, what is happening in my body? Well, you're accustomed to being very hydrated and there is structured water inside fruit. And normally we eat ripe, sweet fruit. Um, not heavy, not glycemic index high fruit. We don't eat a lot of bananas. We eat a few mangoes, but primarily very uh, wet fruits like melons, lots of watermelon. We eat lots and lots of grapes and strawberries and raspberries. Water, the, these fruits hold structured water in their cells. So we're accustomed to eating eating that way for the last, I don't know, six weeks or so. And then all of a sudden we introduce oil, which is very hard on the cells. It actually coats the cell wall to prevent the cells from uptaking water and nutrients from the bloodstream around them. The, um, the salt that we added is hard on the kidneys. It stimulates the kidneys, but that stimulation is not a, a sign that the body is healing. It's a sign that the body is actually taxed. So we did put some salt in our potato pancakes. We did put some seasonings and spices in our potato pancakes. They were really, really good. But those things are stimulating and therefore difficult for the body to assimilate. And so we dehydrated ourselves by not eating the fruit and instead eating very nutrient-dense, spicy, salted food with oil. And so within an hour of eating the food, maybe even a half an hour, I went and lay down and fell sound asleep. Sound asleep. <laughs> like I was out. And when I got up, the top of my mouth was so dry that it hurt. And my capability of thinking was just like closed in. I mean, I was really kind of like a baby. Like I just, yeah, yeah I needed, needed a little nurturance for a minute. You did. And so we, um, Laura went and got some watermelon for me. And that brought not just hydration, not just liquid, but actually the minerals and the nature support. Right, you got the fructose you needed for your cells to be uh, active again. And I started bouncing back, but I'm still, later in the day here, I still need to like keep getting ahead of my hydration to make up for the behavior that I had. So I've never had as much clarity about the impact of the natural f um, hydration that's available, the H302 that is inside of fruits and vegetables. And I wanted to communicate that to you guys with a little bit of Laura science so that like we could get the picture of what we mean when we say water rich foods. Like we're talking about eating juicy watermelon and cantaloupes and now um, be careful watermelon only gets eaten by itself because eaten on top of any other foods as in within an hour it will cause the other foods to ferment because we digest it so incredibly quickly it's so bioavailable so watermelon by itself is a perfect meal and good. that's what we had for yeah. dinner tonight so good really good reminder and um yeah, I hope this helps you guys get your hydration on a little bit better. I hope you eat more water-rich foods. Of course, get structured water every way you can, whether you go out to a natural spring like we're doing right now, or you get it in your fruits and vegetables, or of course with a structured water device. It's all good, um, and it really makes a difference in the way I feel. So I imagine it will for some of you if you experiment with it. Any closing words from you? Um... Just stay hydrated. Be your best self. Look 10 years younger than you are. Joints will be happy. Your muscles will be happy. You'll have all the energy you could ever stand. Awesome. Thanks a lot.